If you're looking for an easy way to add your Facebook posts onto your WordPress website, you've clicked on the right video. By cross-promoting your Facebook posts on your WordPress website, you can skyrocket your followers and sales at the same time. In this video, I'll show you how to add your Facebook posts onto your WordPress website in beautiful feeds like this. If you're ready, let's get started with the tutorial. To add our Facebook feed to our WordPress website, we'll use the Smash Balloon Facebook Feed Pro plugin. Our plugin lets you create beautiful and responsive Facebook feeds for your WordPress website in just a matter of minutes. To purchase the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find a download link and license key for the plugin inside your account. Next, you can download the plugin and head over to your WordPress dashboard. And inside your dashboard, head over to plugins on the left hand side and click on add new. Then click on upload plugin at the top and upload the zip file that you just downloaded and click on install now. And once installed, you can go and click on activate plugin. And there we go, our plugin has now been installed and activated. But before we can start adding our Facebook posts to our website, let's go and activate the license key for our plugin. To do that, on the left hand side, Hover over Facebook feed and click on settings. And now you can paste your license key from smashballoon.com into this box here and click on activate. And as you can see, Facebook feed pro has now been activated and we can start adding our Facebook content onto our WordPress website. To get started with your first feed, head back over to Facebook feed on the left hand side and then click on all feeds. Next, go and click on add new at the top. With Facebook feed pro, you have several different feed types you can create with the plugin. You can create a feed of posts from your Facebook timeline, a feed of photos from any Facebook page, a feed of videos from any Facebook page, and so much more. For this video, let's go and add the post from our Facebook timeline. So that's already selected, so we can go and click on Next over here. Now we have to select a source for our Facebook posts. Go and click on Add New. To connect our Facebook account with Smash Balloon, first we have to select the source type. Since we're going to get our post from our Facebook page, that's already selected here, so we can go and click on Connect to Facebook. Once you're logged into Facebook, you can see all the Facebook pages associated with your account. Go ahead and select the one you want to connect with Smash Balloon, like this and click on next at the bottom here. Now on this screen, it will ask you for permission to connect your Smash Balloon account to Facebook. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display your Facebook content, but it won't be allowed to make any changes to your Facebook account or post on your behalf. So it's completely safe. Go and click on done. And there we go, we've successfully linked our Facebook account to Smash Balloon. Go and click on okay here. Now back inside your WordPress dashboard, select the Facebook page that you just added like this and click on add. Then we can select it as a source like this and click on next. Now the plugin gives you several different options for the appearance of your Facebook feed. You have options like the default, simple masonry, widget, simple cards, and more. For this video, let's go ahead with the default one and click on next. And just like that, we have a beautiful preview of our new Facebook feed right here. As I scroll down, you can see all the latest posts from our Facebook page right here inside our feed. Before I show you how to embed this onto your WordPress website, let me show you how you can customize it to really make it your own. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, go into Feed Layout. On this menu, it will give you several options to modify the layout of your feed. As you can see, we've got three different layouts you can choose from. Currently, we've got the list layout selected, which shows all your posts in a single column list like this. Alternatively, you can go with the masonry layout, which shows all your posts in rows and columns like this. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which shows all your posts in a beautiful carousel, which you can swipe through like this. Proceeding with the list layout, if you look down below, you can also specify the number of posts you want to display on desktop and mobile. To change this, you can specify the number of posts you want to display it right here like this. And once you're happy with the layout of your feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. With Facebook Feed Pro, you can also specify the color palette you'd like for your feed. Under the Customize tab, once again, click on Color Scheme. As you can see by default, it's inheriting the colors from our theme, but alternatively, you can go with a light theme like this, a dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can specify the exact colors you'd like for your feed like this. Once you have a color you're happy with, go and click on save on the top right corner. The header area of your feed is fully customizable as well. On the left hand side, click on header. With our plugin, you can select one of these two different header types. You have the visual header, which has a profile picture, cover photo, and page name. Next, we have the text header, which is a simple header with text that you can customize below over here. And if you'd like to turn off your header entirely, you can go ahead and disable it right here. And once again, if you make any changes, go and click on save on the top right corner. And with Facebook Feed Pro, you can preview how your feed will look like on all devices. Just click the buttons at the top here to view how your feed will look like on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. And once you're happy with your Facebook feed, now we can go and embed it onto our website. To embed our feed, go and click on Embed on the top right corner. Here you'll find a dedicated shortcode for your Facebook feed. You can copy it and then go and click on Add to a page. Now you can select the page that you want to add your feed to. Select it and click on Add. And on your page, you have two different options to embed your Facebook feed. The first option is by adding a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode that you just copied like this. Alternatively, if you're using Gutenberg, you can use our dedicated Facebook feed block like this. And straight away, you'll see a live preview of your feed directly on your page. 
Now we can publish this and check out what it looks like on the front end. And here we are on a live web page and you can see our brand new Facebook feed right in the middle. As I scroll down, you can see all the latest posts from our Facebook page displayed beautifully on our feed. And if I click on any of these photos, it will open up in this light box view where you can swipe through the photos like this. But if you'd like to display your Facebook post on the sidebar or footer of your website, you can do that as well. Back inside the plugin, go and click on Embed on the top right corner. And once again, we can copy our shortcode if you'd like to. And instead of clicking on Add to a Page, go and click on Add to a Widget instead. And that brings us into the WordPress Widgets menu. To add our Facebook feed onto the sidebar of our website, you have the same two options as before. We can either copy and paste the shortcode like we did before, or we can use the dedicated Facebook feed block like this. And once again, it's loaded up a live preview of our beautiful Facebook feed inside the sidebar. We can now go and publish this and check out what it looks like on the front end once again. And back on our live web page, you'll now notice two different Facebook feeds, one on the web page that we created initially, and one on the sidebar as a widget as well. So we've successfully added a Facebook feed both onto the web page and onto the sidebar as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what we covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you need any technical support with our plugins, please get in touch with our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.